Hi, my name is Garrett Faircloth, and I'd like to talk to you about creating alternate accounts with Oracle R12. Although at first it may seem simple, there are a few new steps that need to be taken into account in order to successfully create the alternate account. This tutorial is part of a series of several videos that dive into Oracle R12's new features. Additional videos can be found on IT Convergence's website as well as on our YouTube channel. New to release 12 is the ability to assign an alternate account when disabling a code combination. The alternate account functionality is implemented as part of the Journal Import Program and the Create Account Program in Subledger Accounting Processes. If there is validation of the account before one of these is ex executed, the account will not pass validation checks due to the disabled account. This new feature is fantastic for data that may already be in the journal interface and would have errored upon import had an alternate account not been defined. To do this, simply log into General Ledger, navigate to the Account Combinations form, click Setup, then Accounts, and finally Combinations. Now you simply query the combination you wish to disable from the list. Next, disable the account by removing the check under the Enabled column. Tab to the alternate account field and enter a code combination that will be used should it encounter the disabled account. As you can see, I already have the number enabled, so um, that will be quite easy. You should then simply save your work. These and other topics are included in our Oracle Applications workshops. I invite you to explore other areas of Oracle R12 and to take advantage of our season's instructors. Please visit the workshop page at www.itconvergence.com/workshops. Thank you.